This is the story of NASA and Angry Birds, an unlikely duo pushing the boundaries of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics education through video games. Wait, video games? Seriously? Video games partnering with deep space exploration agency NASA? Did this really happen? At least, that is how this Hollywood story started. Pluto is a dwarf planet. Once, it was a planet, but then it was reclassified in 2006. Pluto was smaller than a number of moons in our solar system, including the Earth's moon. Okay, now they have the head of NASA's Planetary Science Division talking about Pluto in the presence of some annoyed piggies. Someone has to tell me how this started. Uh, ironically, it was through a tweet. I was seeing this Twitter conversation go on about how powerful uh, the mobile phone devices are today as being more powerful than they were during the Apollo era and that we send humans to the moon and they shoot birds at pigs. And I didn't quite understand what shooting birds at pigs was. So uh, I, I had avoided on purpose a lot of the uh, Facebook and, and uh, mobile gaming material. So. Uh, Called someone, they said, oh, they're referring to Angry Birds. I was like, okay, I'm going to have to look at this now. After a bit of research, code for gameplay, he tweeted an offer to help the birds get to space. And Rovio, the makers of Angry Birds, saw this and immediately responded. Well, who would not want to work with NASA? It was amazing. We had the opportunity to combine a super popular game with exciting educational content. Twitter, mobile gaming, and space. But wait, now a Hollywood 3D CG animated movie? Okay, so this is just getting better. Greetings from my world, the world of the pigs. What's a pig? I am a pig. This combo is pretty darn cool. NASA informed kids and adults about space exploration, orbital mechanics, microgravity, and its pioneering work through Rovio's game, all while slinging birds around on mobile devices. Well, Angry Birds is not just any video game. It has to do with trajectories. It has to do with velocities. It has to do with accelerations, where you're shooting little birds around as projectiles and asteroids and things like that. And I'm gonna show the trajectory that Red Bird is gonna have when I fire him with this orbital slingshot. All of this involves physics. All of this involves science. And so Angry Birds is a great venue to get kids wrapped up into the game, but then you slide a little science in at the same time, you slide a little physics. That's an example of a trajectory, and guess what? Astronauts have to worry about these things because if you're in a rocket and say you're trying to get from one orbit and rendezvous with space station, you end up going in curved trajectories and you need to know how to fire your rocket engines so that you can go from where you are to where you want to be. 265 million downloads of Angry Birds space alone, that's over 6 billion sessions of interplanetary education. It has been so successful that the Angry Birds got noticed by Hollywood and will now make a debut appearance on the silver screen. Who would have thought an Angry Birds movie? Yeah, when birds fly. After a few years, millions and millions of downloads, major updates about everything from asteroids to Mars and countless public events, the epic struggle between birds and pigs continues. The future of the Angry Birds keeps expanding with knowledge and exploration at its core from the International Space Station to deep into the cosmos. We are interested in giving back to society and helping teach the next generation to come and do our job is part of our current job. And when it's time for me to sit in a rocking chair, I'm hoping some of the kids that have seen these educational teachings that uh, myself and my colleagues have done. I'm hoping to see those kids come up and, and, and take my job.